Hello friends. Today we will be making a presentation on the design and implementation of BASIC and GIT on an FPGA development board. The agenda for this presentation is laid out as follows. Introduction to BASIC and Logic GIT. Modeling and GIT using VHDL. And lastly, implementation on ATEX 7 development board and verification of the GIT we have designed. We start presentation right away. Logic gates are the basic building units of every digital system. And gate's output is high if and only if both input to the gate is high, otherwise the output is low. On the left is the truth table of an AND gate. We will use it to verify our circuit after we have implemented it on the kit. On the right side is the logical circuit diagram for the same. The equations relating the inputs and output of the circuit is given here. We will use this equation to model our circuit. In the next section, we will see how an gate is modeled and realized using VHDL. To begin, go to Start menu and launch Xilinx Vivodo. In this presentation we will be making use of version 2018.2. After it opens, click Create New Project and wait for the new project wizard to come up. Click Next. Give the project name as Project 2 and Next. For the project type, select RTL Project and Next. Change the target language and simulator language to VHDL. Then create a new source file. Specify the name as and gate. Click Next. Then Next again. Select General Purpose for category. Specify Attic 7 for family. Select CSG324 for package, speed is minus 1. In the remaining list, select the last and click Next. Before clicking Finish, review the project summary then click Finish. Wait for the new project to be initialized. Click OK. Then yes. Wait for the source pane to be updated. Now we are ready to enter our design. Minimize all other windows so as to expand the editor. Now we enter the VHDL code for a basic and gate. Now the code is complete. The next step is verification of the logic by simulation. Go to the Project Manager pane and find Run Simulation option. Select Run Behavioral Simulation and wait for the simulation to load. Minimize all other windows to expand the simulation area. Observe that the default value of A, B, and C is zero. This is because in VHDL, Signals of type bit is automatically initialized with zero. Run the simulation for 10 nanoseconds from the menu bar. Then right click on the values of the signals and choose force constant. In the window that comes up, change value radix to binary. Change force value to 1 and cancel after 10 nanoseconds and OK. Do the same for other input signals. Then run the simulation again for 10 nanoseconds. As we can see in the wave window, the output value corresponds to the truth table of an AND gate. The next step is elaborating the design. Go to Flow Navigator and click Open Elaborated Design. This will take some time. You can see from this diagram that the synthesizer inferred an AND gate from the VHDL code we have written. Minimize all other windows so that we can get a better look at the schematic. Observe the inputs and outputs. 
change the view from default layout to IO planning. This diagram shows the resources and pins in the attic 7. Now we can plan the pins accordingly. Click on IO ports in and expand all ports. Change the IO standard to most 33 for all the ports. Then map the port to physical pins of the target board as follows. A to P4. B to P3. C to P2. After this is done, Save the XDC file by Ctrl plus S and specify the file name as and gate. Go to Sources pane and expand the constraint directory. Verify that the file appears under this directory. The next step is synthesizing the design. Go to Flow Navigator and click on Run Synthesis. This will take some time. A pop-up appears after completion. Run implementation from there. This will run for some time. From the pop-up that appears after completion, click on Generate Bitstream and OK. This also will run for some time. After completion, select Open Hardware Manager from the window that comes up and click OK. Wait for the Hardware Manager to load. Now is the time we connect our FPGA kit. We will implement our design on an Artex 7 FPGA development board. Connect the board using the JTAG cable to your computer and turn the board on. Under the Hardware Manager pane, we try to connect our device. Click on Open Target, select Auto Connect and wait for the hardware to be automatically detected and added. Verify that the hardware have been successfully connected under the Hardware Manager pane. To upload the design to the board, click on Program Device and wait while the HDL file is uploaded to the board. In next part of the video, we test and verify the synthesized hardware. This final part of the video is the testing phase. Now we test the hardware we have implemented. Observe the logical inputs we are giving to the circuit and the corresponding output and compare with the truth table of an AND gate. To conclude, in this presentation, we have studied the following. Basic and logic gate. We saw how to design it in VHDL and its simulation, synthesis and implementation. We studied how to configure an FPGA development board and upload the file we designed to the board to program it. Lastly, we verified the implemented hardware by giving logical inputs and cross-checking our output with the truth table of an AND gate. Dear friends, we have come to the end of this presentation. Thank you all for listening.